Hello there. We often get a question with when we're adding people to Teams, how do we go ahead and change it? It might come up as an email address. It might come up first name, last name, first name dot last name, or maybe even last name comma first name. However, it sort of renders when you add in that email address. Well, it's very easy to do, but you do have one opportunity as a user that's creating a team with the names. Otherwise, you're going to get your you're going to have to get your friends involved with the admins to go ahead and change that. So we do have a blog out here. And what I want to do, rather than read through the blog, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So if I go over here in Teams and I want to go ahead and create a new team, I'll show you that process. Uh, very quickly, I can go ahead and create a new team. And I can, I can just go ahead, in this case, create a new team. I want to go get one from a team or a group, make it a little faster for us today. And I'm going to take one from one of our teams. We're in a demo environment today. So I'm going to scroll down and maybe take this bountiful agriculture process. And when I come in here, we're going to do a water cooler conversation. And you may, you know, with the good team tips, you want to put in a description. And then you can make it private or public. We're just going to leave it private. In this case, I do want to add those seven members that were added to here. And I go ahead and hit create. Now, that's the easy part. We're going off and create a team. You say, yep, I've done that before. But when I go ahead and add people's names in, they actually aren't in the same format that I want them to be. So after it's created, you'll be prompted to go ahead and add and start typing in. This is where your email addresses come in for guest user. Now, if they're within your active directory, you can just type in their name and find them. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put an email address and once that comes up, we can go ahead and add that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also add in uh, a couple others here that I have. So let's go ahead and maybe we're gonna take this and we're gonna have at, I'm going to put in the Simpsons at US. And we're going to add in Bart here. And we're also going to add in just one more user that you can do. And remember, when you're typing in your email addresses here, they should be valid. OK, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put in another US. And this is the Norval here. And you can go ahead and see that. This is a very long name, okay? And there's some dots and I don't really like that. So there's this little edit button here. If I go ahead and edit, I can go then go and make it whatever I want. Well, we all know that this name is one of those mischievous 80s characters, Bart Simpson. So we'll put Bart in there. And then we're also gonna go uh, Norval Rogers here. Um, who's Norval Robert Rogers, you might ask? Well, that is Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, so I can put Shaggy from Scooby-Doo or Shaggy Scooby, whatever I'd like to do. What we're getting at is you do your edit, you put in here, and then you can save that. And now you can go ahead and add these folks. And when we add these in now, these people are going to all be added, which is nice. And then now when we're doing communication, we're talking to them, we're not going to say, hey, Bartholomew.jojo.simpson uh, in the name of our conversation we're actually going to be able to use those real names that we call people. So in this case, I could go ahead and take a search and I can look for you know, anybody within my organization. So here's Alex and notice Alex's full name comes. So I'll teach you a trick right here. I can do backspace and get rid of his last name. It's still going to mention him because it's in purple there. And I can say Alex and I can start typing. The other thing I like to do is I like to put things in format. So now I can, with, if I hit enter, it's not gonna send. So Alex, uh, guess who joined our team? And then I can put boom, boom, boom. It's, you know, Shaggy, I can take a look at. Coming in. So I can actually search there, I can put Jock, Shaggy, Bart, okay, that are coming in here. And as I look here, here's Bart. So I can add Bart in there. I could leave the full name. In that case, I'm going to, because everybody knows it's Bart Simpson. And, and I can do my other search here for whoever else I want within the organization. So there you go. Very quick, very easy. You have the opportunity when you add in new team members to add new guest users. And that's how you're going to go ahead and do it. And now I can go ahead and actually just go ahead and send this. And again, they'll be, they'll be pinged there. So I can also do that directly from our team. If I want to add a new user, I come into here, either go settings 
or in members, I can do the same exact thing. Go to members, add a team member, type in or copy and paste that email for our email address that I have. So it could be you at funday.com or whatever it happens to be, right? I can type that in, go ahead and edit this. It's not gonna be you, it's gonna be all of you or whatever you have to do. So this is how you do it, little edit button. I hope you thought that was helpful. I really think this is great for an organization as well as if you have a client or somebody that's an external user, they might have a full name that they probably might not wanna be called, okay? So there might be a very long name like Deborah or something even longer and they shorten it to Deb, et cetera. So that's how you're gonna do it. Have yourself a great day. If you want more tips like this, make sure that you go over into our YouTube site and you can very quickly just go in there and take a look. There's featured as well as popular uploads, but also you can go into our playlist and you can see all of our things sorted very easily for you. Have yourself a great day. Look forward to our next video.